Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 8 of my Minecraft. Oh, I, I I don't think I'll ever get over that. Episode 8 of my Terraria Let's Play. Um, so, it's been like a month since I've recorded this. I've still been playing Terraria a little bit, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't want to play too much without you guys. So, what I did between last time and this time is uh, two things. I mined every single, or not mined, I gathered all the loot from hell down below. And uh, we got a lot of potions in this chest right here. As you can see, it's completely jam-packed full. Um, even so much so that there's an overflow chest filled with potions right here. So this is going to help us with the wall of flesh. And uh, I just need to find some, you know, like restores 90 health. You know, this is just good stuff. Um, I also got this demonic sun fury, this zealous dark lance, and then this flower of fire. Now, these three things were just found in those obsidian chests. We just use the shadow key for them. Um, I have a DPS meter now, which is actually pretty cool, so we can actually figure out how much DPS we're doing exactly. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, we have those, those really early game wings. So I want to get into hard mode in this episode, we're going to try to defeat the Wall of Flesh here real quick. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't commentated in like a week and a half, I actually took, or two weeks, because I took a week off from my normal Minecraft channel. And uh, I've been feeling real good, you know, taking a little bit of time off, you know, letting the creative juices recharge. Not that, you know, this game takes too much creativity, but Minecraft does, because you need to build the whole world. Um, anyways, so we're just going to take a few things. I, I guess we already have enough of those. Uh, I don't want more enemies. That's not a good idea. Mana regeneration. That sounds really good, seeing as how I'm a, I'm a mana-based player. So we're going to grab thorns, mana. Um, I don't know what else we'll really need. Let me look through these real quick. Okay, so the only two potions I added were this, uh, increased range for, like, life heart pickup. Um, and then increased max life. So I think those two will help us as well. Um, also, when I was down there in hell getting all those sh uh, obsidian chests, almost a shadow chest, but I think that's something different. I don't know. Whichever one it is, I got all these bombs, rope, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I did already build the platform down here, as you can see. If we come down here, I did build the platform, so we'll go and check this out. You see that big line of wood? Um, that should be long enough for us to defeat the wall of flesh. So it goes from there all the way to there. Just that nice wooden platform line. So, my plans for this series after hard mode. So I want to get a spawner going. And uh, you made me say, Neo, why Why do you need a spawner, dude? Um, well, it gives you a lot of cool stuff. A lot of food, a lot of loot, um, and even some elemental keys that we'll need for certain... This is not my hole. See, it looks like it's my hole on the map, but wait. On the map, this says... Wait. Dude, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I gotta rock, man. Okay, so we're gonna go for, I wanna be a summoner, but you can't really be a summoner pre-hard mode, it's just kind of pointless. Um, so we actually get to start building our class out, which is gonna be super fun. So we're gonna spawn lots of little friends to help us fight stuff, and I really wanna get the shadow knives or something, daggers, there's something, they're floating knives that attack stuff for you, and they go through walls, they're awesome. Um, and to get those, we need to be able to get, uh, we need to be able to kill... The, uh, I don't know, King Slime or Queen Slime. One of the two. I think it's the Queen Slime. And it's basically this big boss slime. Why does it look like I'm falling outside of my hole? Okay. Oh, because it's just on the other side of it. Okay. I see. Um, and yeah, they can drop them. And I think there's also a way to craft them. I don't know. There's tons of cool stuff we need to do. Ah, oh, you know what I didn't grab? The one thing I didn't grab? Well, first of all, I don't have a magic mirror, which is really disappointing. I forgot to grab the voodoo dolls, which I know I put in here. So you see all these voodoo dolls? These are all the chances we get for the wall of flesh. Um, now, it does kill your guide whenever you do it, so Brett is going to go... Uh, he's going to go... So that sucks, but you know what, Brett? Thank you for getting us into hard mode. So this sacrifices them into the lava and spawns the big boss that gets us like a fourth through the game, right? Hard mode is most of the game. Easy mode is... Eh. You know, but I stretched, what, seven episodes out of it, which isn't good. I probably should have hurried through a little bit more. But yeah, let me meet you guys down at the platform. All right. We're down at the platform. All is well in the world. We just have to walk all the way to the edge. I'm so used to, on my playthrough I was doing with my cousin um, that we kind of finished a while ago, maybe like two weeks ago. I uh, had really good summoning gear and I miss it. I actually have to, like, attack stuff now, which is, is sad. I like to just be able to do nothing and have all, all my minions kill stuff. Um, this is going to be really helpful. It literally takes no mana. So this is probably what we'll be maining against it. This thing is good if you can hit it right. Um, this thing, not so much. You're going to be too close, but this thing does some serious damage. This fire flower. 
Like, I, I guess I can't do that, but it'll one-shot those easy, easy. Um, and the fact that we have max health will just be really, really good. Um, but this is one of the best weapons you can get pre-hard mode. I don't know, what does it do? 69 damage and like, yeah, nice. Uh, and then this one does, what, 21? So, each one of these you hit is worth like three of these. And it's a masterful, which is like literally the best. Let's see, can we like two shot that thing, three shot it, four shot it, nice. We just have to make sure to drink all these, and uh, we should be good. How far away are we from the edge? We're very close. Okay. Are you guys ready for the wall of flesh? The hardest monster. And this is over on the right side, right? Yeah. You got to make sure, so like halfway through the map, like somewhere like around here, make sure you're like, if you're this way of it, like to the right of the center, then it'll spawn coming from the right and go left. But if you do the opposite, the opposite will happen and like, you know, then it would be coming from over here. And that, ugh, you know, that wouldn't be good. So let's just go ahead, drink all these. Oi, okay, let's go. We got it. We got it. Easy peasy, dude. The wall of flesh. It's really not that hard. Really, really not that hard. Just gotta take care of these little ads. But well, I guess they're not really ads. You know, you know what we're gonna try? You know, since we have wings too, dude, this makes it so much easier. Okay, really? Oh yeah, and we have this little squirrel buddy following us. Um, it comes from... No, that's something else. I don't even know, dude. I have no idea. Oh, you know what we need to do? Why don't we have Hellstone armor and stuff? Why are we fighting this thing without Hellstone? Oh, I completely forgot! <laughs> oh, no! Okay, well, I completely forgot something pretty important. Um, so something you want to do, ideally, is get Hellstone armor... Um, and with that, I can get an imp staff, which allows us to have our very own imp, uh, which is a good friend to have when you're when you're fighting the wall of flesh. I probably should have done that. I didn't do it. Uh, I kind of forgot. So uh, this should be interesting. We'll have to get Hellstone to get the first hard mode ore. So hard mode will help spawn ores that you cannot get in easy mode. Can I please hit this thing? And hopefully, since uh, you saw me play last time, I've gotten a little bit better with aiming and such. This thing really isn't that hard. Like, I'm pretty sure I could just stand here and tank it, but I probably shouldn't do that. So that's going to take a while. How quick does the health go down with this thing? You know, pretty slow, but I think we're just going to have to go for it here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's try the fire flower. Ooh, that thing does some DPS, dude. Let's go. And I do have my mana potions bound. I don't have any mana potions on me, unfortunately. I'm going to use a health pot, too. Um, oh, I have 480 health. Wow. This thing seems to be working quite well here. Oh, wow. Okay, so this thing's working extremely well. This thing's almost dead. Insane, dude. And I guess these guys are dropping... Uh, they're dropping mana stars for me. Yeah. That's sick, dude. This game is just very well made. We'll put it that way. It's just a very well made game. Okay. Okay. It is a tricky game. Especially once you get to hard mode. Like, this game is pretty much a breeze until you get to hard mode. Wow, that thing has no health. Okay, we're just going to space gun it. I don't know how close we are to the edge. Um, okay, we're, like, not that close to the edge at all, so we're fine. And Paul Flesh, ladies and gentlemen, has been killed. What did we get? What did we get? 15% increased melee damage. That would be good if we're a melee player. Um, yep. We're now we're in hard mode. The ancient spirits of light and dark have been released, it says in the corner. So we're in hard mode now. We have the wall of flesh trophy. That's always a, you know, a great thing to have. Okay, buddy. I'm sorry about you, but you're going to have to go. I'm trying to look at my loot, dude. Um, a pwn hammer, but you need to break demonic altars. I'll go show you that in a second. And what else do we get? Oh, yes, the laser rifle. Which seems like a pretty good weapon, at least for right now. Now, we'll go fight the Wall of Flesh some more. Um, but before we go and use this demon hammer or anything, we need to go back up top. We need to get some of these obsidian skin potions that I got from raiding the hell chests, which are these right here. And uh, with these, they each give you six minutes of immunity to lava. So we can go back down there. And uh, mine this glowing ore called Hellstone that's literally in the lava. So I'm going to do that, get a bunch of that, then we're going to make a few things. And uh, we should be uh, on a good path.
We just got into hard mode, guys. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Okay, so we're pretty much down here. So we're going to drink one of these bad boys. And uh, as silly as it may sound, we're going to hop into the lava. Now, we don't have to hop into the lava, mind you. Like, it's not required. Um, okay, see, so there's a hard mode enemy, um, which makes things very difficult. Those things can kill you very quickly. Um, everything in hard mode is basically just more dangerous. Uh, so maybe we should have waited to go into hard mode. I mean, we should have waited to go into hard mode. Um, we should have gotten this hellstone ore quicker. Um, we only need to make a hellstone pickaxe with this. And what that's going to allow us to do is mine the first hard mode ore. I don't know what it is on this world. I, I think the first one is the same on every world. But I don't remember what they are, guys. And uh, you got to remember, when I played this game, it was probably like seven years ago when I played it a lot. There wasn't, there wasn't hardly anything in hard mode. And, uh, y you know, you didn't want to get there too quick because the game was almost over. But now it's like the opposite. It's like most of the game is after hard mode. So let's mine over here because I see a ton of it. And uh, this should be a lot easier. Let me just mine my way over here. Okay, so I've mined over here. Now all I've got to do is just grab it. I mean, it's literally the easiest thing in the world with the obsidian skin potion. So if you can find a shadow key, I highly, highly recommend it. And uh, just come down here, break, er, open every shadow chest that you can. And uh, you'll get so many potions. Like, I literally have enough potions to last me for quite a long time. Um, especially if I need to look for some things. Uh, we're going to have to get some better wings here pretty soon. So that's why I want to build a mob spawner. Because mob spawners just make it really easy to get stuff. And they're super, super satisfying once you get them going. And I'll show you guys how I do it. It's really not that hard. You just basically break out a very large area of blocks. And then just put a few of them down somewhere near the center for them to spawn. Go above that area, and they spawn like freaking crazy. I'll show you that soon. For now, I'm just going to be gathering hellstone. Not very exciting, so I'm going to skip past it, but I'll just be doing this for a while. We already have uh, 53, so we'll come back up in a bit, and uh, I'll make that hellstone pickaxe. We'll go break some demon altars, and we're going to get some stuff going. I'm excited. Okay, so I have 120 of it, and I'm almost certain that's enough. I'm also almost certain that I've already grabbed a hellforge. Please, please, did I not grab a health forge? Aw, oh, please. So a health forge is what you need to melt meteorite down into the bar form. Did I really not get, did I, did I really not get a health forge? Yes, I did. Health forge, let's go. So I picked those up while I was down there in hell. I mean, it's just where they are. And uh, what we can do soon is we're going to make this tree into an NPC housing area. Probably do that next episode because we have no NPC housing and we really, really need it. There's like 20 or 30 NPCs. We might have to build additions onto this bad boy, which could be kind of fun. Build our own custom tree or something like that. That could actually be really cool. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. And uh, I don't know why I can't make Hellstone bars. Maybe I'm missing it. Is this, is this not a Hellforge? Am I tripping? Wait, hold on. Does it just need to be a normal? No, I know it has to be a Hellstone Forge. Oh yeah, you know what you know what I'm missing that you need? You need obsidian plus hellstone to make the bars. You don't just need the ore, like every other ore. No no no. It's gotta be special. And uh, I can't remember okay, so we do have obsidian. I don't know if I gathered that off camera, if I gathered that on camera. Either way, it's pretty easy to get just water and lava, like Minecraft. Um that's the only other game I can find a comparison of that to. Um, okay, so we're just gonna put this here and we're going to make them. I know for sure we can make them now I was wondering I was like man. I swear we're missing something simple, but I just can't I can't tell what it is There they are right there hellstone bars Let's go. Okay, so we have 40 um, City and skull can be worn in vanity splots grant immunity to fire blocks. That's kind of cool Doesn't grant immunity to lava. No only fire blocks which are actually different So let's go to our anvil, which is where is our anvil? Oh, it's down there. I say, why can't I craft anything cool? All right, so we're going to first of all make the molten pickaxe. We just have to make that. Um, and then I don't know of anything else we can make right now. And the molten stuff is good, but we're about to get better stuff anyways. I can make an imp staff. So we'll go ahead and make that just so that we have it. And uh, essentially, it just gives you a uh, little creature to follow you around. Now, the summoner armor that I will try to get very soon is going to give me more slots, uh, which makes just it just makes life so much easier. So we're going to go, I believe that our um that our uh, okay let me go in the full menu yes yeah, so our corruption is over here okay so we're gonna go to the right we're gonna go into this corruption and there's a bunch of demon altars which i you can't really see on the mini map but they're in there and uh you break them with this pwn hammer and how big is this plus 12 percent size 
Oh, okay, pretty cool. So I'm curious to see. So this does 21 damage, this does 38, and it shoots maybe like 50% faster. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we don't really have a... There's no point in even keeping that in there. There may be a point in keeping this in there, but I don't know about the Aqua Scepter and the... Jeez, the Vile Thorn. Anyways, I'll meet you guys over in the Corruption, because it's dark, you can't see, I can't see. No one wants to watch it. Nope, I don't want the Falling Star. Please! Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, we are here. We're gonna go down in the big hole, which is right here. And we're just gonna break as many of these as quick as we can. We should see one very soon. I mean, they're, they're all over the place. These little uh, things right here. You break them. Look, we got some Palladium in the world. We got some Mithril. And uh, when it says that once, it doesn't just spawn one vein, right? Like, it spawns a lot of it. You just can't, like... I don't know. You can't see where it goes, but it doesn't just put one piece down. Uh, but you still want to break as many of these as you can. It'll just allow your world to uh, have more commonly have the stuff you're looking for. Now, one thing I got from the Hell Chest was Spelunker Potions. Now, Spelunker Potions are going to be super duper nice. Uh, those are going to... Okay, these are... These are spawns from when you <laughs> break the demon altars, I forgot. I think each one either spawns one or two. They're not hard, but... Ooh, that thing chews through your mana. We're out of mana, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't good. Okay. Do I not have a... Do I not have a claw? What? I don't have a grappling hook at all? Dude, what was I doing on this run-through on YouTube, man? I don't have I don't have Brady here. <laughs> to ask, I can't ask him the important questions. That's why I want to do a, a run through with him sometime because it really will be different. It'll be more fast paced. Uh, but I think that's sometimes a good thing, right? It's kind of fun to actually watch me play and like learn things on my own. But you have to use the wiki when you play this game, which is unfortunate. But with a game that's this uh, detailed with this many items and stuff, if you didn't have a wiki to follow, I mean, it would just be impossible. And see, these are hard mode things. Like, they have 160 HP. Easy mode stuff would never even touch that. Except, less like bosses or something. Does this thing have unlimited penetration, too? I was going through, like, four enemies back there. Okay. So that's all those. I'm so happy we have this long stretch of corruption here. This makes, th it makes everything so much better. Like, we're going to be able to find these ores very, very quickly now. Okay, we're going to need a torch out because I can't see a damn thing. Okay. Okay, we may end up dead here. We're... No! I dropped how much gold? 37? <sighs> That's a good bit of gold. But no, we're going to have a mob farm. We're okay. I know it seems like a lot. It is a lot, but we're going to have a mob farm. Um, and Also, I think I went through most of that area. Now, I think we have another little corruption over here. I don't think it's very big, but we definitely have a little one over there as well. Um, I think I broke enough, though, to where we can go mining and it, we won't have a problem finding any of the hard mode ores. So, I think we're going to do that. Let me just put up the gold I have on me. I have 36 gold on me. I know, I'm very bad about putting up my money. I'm not sure why I don't, but I just haven't seemed to uh, put my money up very often. Oh, so we got a plat. Okay. So you can take a hundred gold coins and you make a platinum coin. That's how you know we're balling, dude. Look at that. A beautiful, shiny platinum coin. Cool. Alright, guys. Well, I really, really want to get a mob spawner built. Um, this guy sells dynamite, which is what we're going to need. Wow, it costs 18 silver apiece. Maybe I should go get that gold. <laughs> Maybe I should go get that gold. That's very expensive. I thought it was way less than 18 silver apiece. Man, I, was, I had like four or five stacks of dynamite whenever I was making it. That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to go get our gold back. So you can also see in my inventory, I have like 999 wood and stuff. So I would like I generated another world just so I could go mine wood. And uh, that's all I did on the world was mine wood. And that seemed to really help me out here because now I have a ton of wood. So I don't think I'll have to worry about it for quite a while, which is awesome. Oh, and I'm already in the corruption because I rambled through it. Ooh, what is on my phone? Oh, yeah. It says, record a bunch of terraria. You need to, bad. Yeah, you're telling me, past self. See, look at this. So this is something that happens in hard mode. Um, they can... No? I thought this was something you could eat. Immunity to weakness. That's interesting. I guess mobs can just drop stuff in hard mode that they can't in easy mode. Um, but what I was trying to say is mobs can now drop, like, food items. And they can give you, like, little buffs, which is awesome. And here is actually an ore that we need to be getting ASAP. So this is the first hard mode ore... No, it's not. Okay, I'm a liar. I'm not a liar. I just don't know. 
Um, but that's one of the hard mode ores there. You can see I couldn't mine it. I don't know what color the other one is. And this is actually the hollowed. We're not in the corruption, guys. We're in the hollowed right now. Ah, wait, was it was it like this? I swear it was still the corruption, man. Am I tripping out? No. Oh, I think halfway through it turns back to uh turns back to corruption. As so I was like, yeah, why is this why is this pixie spawning in the uh, corruption? I was like, dang. So everything here can drop souls of light, which is cool. I think we already have two. And uh, we're going to need some of those for some wings. You got, I bet you guys yelled at me for losing that one, huh? So where does it switch back over to corruption? Because I do think I want to make my mom, my mob spawner in the hallowed or the jungle. The jungle has the highest spawn rate, so we may try to do it in the jungle. Um, but yeah, I really, really don't have business just wasting 37 gold. So let's go down this hole here, grab our gold. Okay, we have our gold, and we're just going to go back. We really, really need a magic mirror, which is infinite recall potions. Okay, so let's put this up, and let's go mine some hard mode ores. Okay, 44 gold. Oh, I put that in my inventory. I can't believe I literally <laughs> I just talk it all. I just got I just got confused. Okay, I thought that was my I thought that was my chest. I'm a very smart man. Okay, let's actually go down and mine some ores now. Ooh, we need the spelunker potion though. So the spelunker will just allow us to see ores much much easier. Um, I think I want to bring my forge or, or at least my anvil with me. I think. So if I bring these two things with me, I can craft the tools underground, which is awesome. I don't have to come back up. Because you want to basically get to the highest tier pickaxe that you can as quick as you can. Um, and then once you get to that, you just mine the highest tier of armor uh, with the highest tier hardwood. There's three hard mode armors, so it's not that hard to get. Uh, what in the world was I doing, man? I know I was in here for something, but I cannot for the life of me remember what the heck I was in here to do. Spelunker. Spelunker potions. That's right. Hold on, let me clean up my inventory because I just thought this was the chest because it's so disorganized. Uh, nope, that's not. That's uh, also we do, see like we don't need that anymore, and we need the imp staff like in our in our inventory. We don't even have it spawned. Oh gosh, it's gonna be a little bit. Hold on, let me sort my inventory. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is much much better. We have nine 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 torches too. I don't know how. I must have crafted them at some point and just forgotten. Okay, let's finally, jeez, let's go get some hard mode ores. So, we shouldn't have too much trouble. Um, they should be fairly common. We're going to drink a Spelunker, and it's going to show us where everything is. Again, I think that's Palladium. I don't, I think, I don't remember what color it is. The one that I need to get first. It's none of those, I know. Hmm. Gosh, where is it? I don't know what color it is. <laughs> Honestly, I forgot. I can't tell. This isn't it, right? This is copper. I'm like 99% sure. Yeah, see, that's copper. This is the stuff. Oh! I was using my demonic pickaxe. I was like, I swear that was the first ore. I just didn't want to say anything because I've, I've messed up so many times this episode. Oh, gosh. Okay. That one hurts a little. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, if you don't understand what just happened... I was using my old pickaxe to try to mine the hard mode ore, and that's why I said we need the molten pickaxe. Right? Because you can't mine it without the molten pickaxe. Oh my gosh. Why do hard mode things do so much damage? I'm like trying to... I'm freaking out. I'm trying to find the right... <laughs> oh, I hate hard mode. Why is there three of you? Who on earth said three of you could spawn and bully me? A not very good Terraria player. You gotta bully me like this, man. Not cool, dude. Okay, okay. A fleeting Bezor, immunity to poison. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna keep all the accessories. So right, the accessories can be combined into really cool things. I think Brady was trying to get an Onk shield. I don't know what that is, but I don't even remember if I'm saying it right. But it's an Onk shield, an Onk shield or something. I don't know. All I know is that it allows you to basically have a bunch of those like debuff things. I guess. And, uh, I don't know. It should be pretty cool. I'm trying to get out of this dang sand. I hate mining in sand, but sometimes you have no choice. There we go. Mine under a little bit of that stone. There we go, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. No, sir. We're gonna block that. <laughs> I 
I think that's a good idea in our situation. I really, really do. This valuable Palladium Ward. I don't know how much we need to get to get a pickaxe. I'd imagine we're somewhat close. Um, so let me, let me like just put this down, honestly, and let's just see how close we are. You know, bringing our home with us here. Okay, so that's 17. I think you probably need 20. Ooh, pretty cool, dude. Magic damage increases maximum mana. Ranged. So you can get different variants of the helmets. This one does ranged. This one does melee. And that one is magic. Chainsaw. Oh, yeah, dude. All that awesome stuff. Okay, well, anyways, we need to get 20 pieces. So we're close, but we're not there yet. Okay, I'm going to allow this guy in here. I'm just going to run. I'm going to run. Sometimes running is just the best option. <laughs> Uh, it's so dark. I need a light pet. The light pet I have, the shadow orb, is terrible. <laughs> He's not very bright. And I don't mean that in a, in a bad way, buddy. I think you're very smart. <laughs> really? I hadn't clicked on that before? I just hadn't... I hadn't clicked on that before. Really? I hadn't clicked that before. I mean, I didn't really lose anything. But I'm just more upset that I... I... <sighs> Come on, man. I died like four times playing with Brady to those, and I thought I finally had it down, but like, there can just randomly be golden chests. Like, there's not really a way to know. Maybe there is, but I don't know of a way to really know. I don't have any interest going back up there. I died there 30 seconds ago. It's too soon. You just lose like your potions, uh, which is, oh, okay. I don't have a hook. God, that makes life so much more difficult. I need to get a hook. I know I can use crystals for it, but I think I'll get a dual hook here pretty soon. I hope. Actually, I don't know. I may need to just make a hook. Oh, spider armor. That's what we need to go get. Okay, so we need to find where the spoders are. We're going to kill ourselves some spoders here in a minute. That's going to allow me to have more minions. And then also you can get a spider staff, which I think is better than the imp staff. I, I really don't know. Uh, but let's put this down. I mean, <laughs> when it comes to Terraria, what really do I know, right? Like, it's... it's <laughs> I don't know. Um... Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, and that's more than enough. So, we can make our Palladium Pickaxe, which is all we need. And now we can mine the next tier. And I think... Do we need to make... Like a Palladium Anvil or anything? No, I think... You do have to make a different Anvil soon. So, this blue stuff here, you can see in the top left corner. Mm-hmm. That's what we need. So, we're gonna go over there. I know it's kind of dark. I apologize. There's a big old vein of titanium or whatever. What is that? Tungsten, it's a big old vein of it. I think this is the next door. Yes, Mithril. And there's also... Oh my gosh, do you see the Palladium above us? Dude, that is a mega vein. And there's also a big vein of Mithril up here too. If you can kind of see where it... So there's a fire flower. Oh, that's so nice. I really wish I had a hook. That would make my life so much easier. I, I wonder... I think I can get a spider hook. I think I can craft it. Or, or you get it from killing spiders or something. No, you get it from a spider chest. Hmm. Have we found any spider areas? I don't know. Yeah, because see, I can't like hook over to the side. I have to like break out an area to stand. Uh. <laughs> and you haven't even... If you've never watched like Terraria before and you don't even know what a hook is, you just wait, dude. It's so nice. You'll be like, Neo, why didn't you make that five years ago? You dummy. I'll be like, I don't know. Okay, let me mine this palladium vein, then we'll go over there and get grab that mithril. Okay, so we just got that palladium. I don't have my imp spawned, which is a problem. I'm, like trying to kill these mobs. There we go. And there's also that mithril below us. So I don't know how much mithril this is. We just got 66 from that vein right there. Wow. Okay, so we almost have 50 mithril ore. I think it's three per, so we need 60. I think? Or is it four ore per? I don't know. We'll find out in a second here. Either way, we have to have enough mithril to make that anvil as well. Uh, we don't want to just only make the pickaxe. Because then we wouldn't be able to make the next tier of pickaxe after mithril. So let's grab this mithril too here really fast. Okay. Is this a spider area? Nope, just an area filled with bats. Yeah, no thank you. I'm good. Is that mithril up there? 
No. Okay. So we just got to keep looking around for some mithril. I don't even know where the next tier of ore is. Like, I haven't seen any spawned or I would have pointed it out. Uh, which really isn't a great sign. Um, I might just go back to the cave over here. Have we not explored very many caves around here? No, not really at all. I forget this is a large world. We do have the tinkerer down there. Hmm, maybe we should just go down further because, yeah, I'm not sh too sure how fruitful this area will be. We're not very deep in the world, and I don't think that part matters, but we're just not... We're not really in a cave, right? And that's what matters. You need to be in a cave to find stuff. Makes it a lot easier. Strip mining in this game is, uh... Is possible, right? I think it's a lot more efficient, you know, in my eyes, at least. Uh... It was like, what do I do? No, sir, let me go back up. Oh my gosh, I just missed so much stuff. And then trying to get back up is like the most painful thing. Okay, what did I even do? Um, Because then you have to like place something under. Okay. No, see, I'm not I'm only clicking space once. I don't know why my keyboard does that. It's like double clicking like my mouse does. But double tapping, I guess. Double inputting. I don't even know what you'd call it on a keyboard. It's just double pressing. Yeah, I know I don't need the Palladium, but it's a good idea to get it. You can sell it for a lot of gold. And uh, we're going to need gold to buy the uh, dynamite so that we can make our kick-ass mob spawner. I'm serious. It's going to be the coolest thing in the world. You're going to love it. And there's two big pockets of mithril here, too. So, yeah, I'm going to grab this one, that one. And, uh, yeah, we'll do another little time lapse. This fairy actually is going to show me something good. Um, but I've probably already found the dungeon around here. Are you just showing me this dungeon right here? Oh, thank you. You're very sweet, Green Fairy. Thank you so much. Wait, are you going to show me something else? Is it this heart crystal? Okay. I don't really need that, but thank you. You're very kind. So they'll just kind of show you stuff. They'll spawn randomly and just show you stuff. That's basically their purpose. Um, but yeah, don't mind me. I'm going to go and uh, we're going to find... Are you going to go... Can I kill you? Can I kill you? You're really... You're making this like ringing noise. Yes, I see, I see the damn heart. Don't, I don't need you to tell me what to do. <sighs> okay, I'm actually going to get all these crystals <laughs> just so I can make a crystal hook temporarily. Um, because I see this, po oh my, whoa, dude, look at that palladium pocket up there. Wow. Dude, that's just like literally insane. Oh, that's a different, different, uh, different gem, but that's okay. I can probably craft it in my inventory because I have the thing with me. The anvil. I can speak English, I promise. Sort of. Oh, baby, let's go with the amethyst. Heck yeah. I'm sorry, I try not to say, like, too many bad words, right? Because my normal channel is a Minecraft channel, which, you know, there's a younger audience for that. I'm not saying older people don't watch it, but a lot more younger people than older people watch it. And you don't want to really use bad words because that's not really, you know... I don't know. I don't do it from, like, an advertising perspective. You can still get ads if you say, like, light words like damn and hell and stuff like that. And that comes from YouTube itself. You can't... Okay. Brad Black Recluse. I hate spiders! Die! Jesus. Scared. Scared me. Where did that come... Okay, so somewhere on the screen, there is a spider area. Somewhere on my screen is a spider area, which is like a big web area. I don't know where. I don't really want to. I, I really want to know where, but I don't know where. Because br black recluses can only spawn there. Is that another one? No, okay. Just a fat bat. I don't know why they don't call it a fat bat. They call it a giant bat. Dude, this fairy is going to drive me up the wall. I'm going to start a brigade against the fairies, and I'm going to kill them all. Because you are so annoying. It just goes... Ee! You, I, I obviously I can't make like a noise that high pitch, but that ring just maybe I'm just easily bo easily bothered. I'm just, I'm just a complainer, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, let me grab this big old palladium pocket. Wow, we're in a big thing of water. Okay, we're gonna make sure we're not drown. Wow, I found the spider area, and you want to know how? I just heard about a billion webs break. So you see this thing right below us? I think I'm flooding it. We need to stop this immediately. Um, because I don't know if I know where another one of these... I know I'm going to drown here. Hold on. Um, I was going to say, I don't know if I know where another one of these, uh, spider things is. Um, so there are only certain areas in the world where the spiders spawn. And I came back because I heard this... 
which just sounds like, you know, webs breaking from water. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then I realize, guys, we found a spider area. And I know you can't see. I can't see either, okay? There you go. Yeah, you see this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no! 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 God! Oh, I hate spiders! Damn it! I'll go all the way back there. Oh, I'll only drop 30 silver. Okay, I'm fine with it. I'm chill with that, actually. I, I know where it is, which is fine. <laughs> I'll just go back there in a second. Uh, for now, let's make the next tier. So, let's put our anvil down. dippity doo da dippity day uh, Large amethyst for capture the gym. Oh, yeah. I don't do that. Slime is falling from the sky. Yes, dude. Okay, so this is going to allow us to get a ton of slime. And you're like, w w wh why? why? Why why do you care about getting a ton of slime? Well, with a ton of slime, I can craft a ton of sticky dynamite, which makes digging out that area for the... Uh, um, I need to make this off the bat. I'm going to break this normal one. I'll go, I'll go outside in a second here. I promise. Um, and then I need to make the pickaxe. I don't even know if I can. I only have 15 mithril. Wait. It only takes 15 mithril. Let's go, baby. Okay. Sweet, dude. Okay. So now we can mine the highest tier of stuff. You can see the slime's already accumulating up there. Um, and now I have a hook. So you're probably like, well, if you've never seen Terraria before, hooks are basically grappling hooks, right? Everyone's seen grappling hooks before. Also, these slimes are going to be comically easy. Like, they're, they're obviously like an easy mode mob. So I think this will, like, one-shot them. So I'm just going to get a ton of slime from this. Now, I'm not sure why it started during the night. Um, I thought this event was supposed to start, like, in the morning. And maybe it's becoming morning. I'm really not sure here. Um, either way, I'm fine with it. Like, I'm happy to get a, a ton of slime. I only have 85 currently on me. Or gel, I should say. Oh, it's not, very, it's not spawning very often. And then I think the king slime or queen slime will spawn at the end of this event. So, don't mind me. I'm just going to kill a bunch of slimes here. You're not going to miss too much. Um, aside from me killing a bunch of slimes, whenever the boss slime spawns, which I think it's the king slime, um, then we'll have some fun with that. Now, the queen slime, whoa, the queen slime is the hard mode variant, and that drops those throwing, they're not magic knives, what are they called? I don't know, there's some, like, floating dagger, uh, spawnable minion, and they do a lot of damage really quickly, and they go through walls. Um, but yeah, I don't want to bore you guys, because the slime... Killing slimes is not the most fun thing to watch. Uh, and I'd really rather just come back whenever I actually get the queen slime to spawn. But yeah, I have 115 gel now. And uh, let's see how much would I have when I come back. Okay, so I thought I'd just come back for a second, because um, I completely forgot something that I didn't tell you guys about. So I got this lucky treasure maggot, magnet, <laughs> lucky treasure maggot. <laughs> I don't know if I had had this before. I think I actually, no, I think I did find it on camera, but it allows your pickup range to increase. Uh, one thing I forgot to use is this thing. So when you use this, you get 10 minutes of having double, that's right, double the amount of spawnables. So why is my imp staff not in my... Okay, what? I'm not going to use a pwn hammer very often. So now I have two of these things, uh, which is epic, right? That's going to help a lot, um, especially if I sit here in AFK. Like, it's actually super fun to do it. Look at these guys. I, I don't need to touch these plebeian mobs. All I have to do is stand here. I have 176 gel right now, by the way. We can go over here and get a ton, I bet. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Look at all that. So the queen slime again will spawn at the end of the event, which should be at the end of the day. Do you see this? They take care of them pretty well. Like, I don't really have to do much. I just kind of sit here. And uh, gather the items periodically. Like, see, there's already some slime over here. Look at that, dude. 205 slime now. So, I'll do some more time lapse because I think that looked pretty cool. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm tired of time lapses. I'm gonna get out of my hidey hole here. We're gonna face them like men. 
die to the slimes. I think we lost a piece of dirt here. Uh, I don't know. Did I not pick it up? That's sand. That's mud. There's the dirt. Okay. Just because I know I broke that piece. I don't really need silt. I don't need mud. I don't need gold or sand. Um, I'm going to get a ton of those, I promise you. We don't need the old anvil. Don't need the topaz. Actually, yeah, we should probably keep the topaz. Uh, spider fang we definitely need. Don't need tungsten. Don't need... Mm, maybe we'll need mushrooms. We're not going to need dirt. We're going to need cobweb. And we don't need copper. Um, but yeah, this event, I think, should be over soon. I mean, we have 280 gel. So, we have enough gel. Um, now, the big, the big, big question is the huge, giant question. Is when the heck is this is this thing gonna spawn? Like the 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 king of slime, where is it? <laughs> where? Where are you, buddy? Also, I think this might be a bad idea for me to stand close to my tree. I think a lot of slimes were dying up there actually. Now, ideally the best place for you to spawn on an event day, or the best place to go on an event day like this, uh, would be somewhere like Oh there it is. Good. Now I don't have to do this anymore. Okay, let's go. So this is an easy boss, um, an easy mode boss. It's going to be pretty easy, uh, which is fortunate for us. Usually this would be insanely hard. Oh, it's trapped. Look, all I have to do is sit here. Oh no, it spawned somewhere else. I think I can just tank it. Does it do any damage? Oh wow, it actually does a little bit. I keep forgetting I have the worst armor. There we go. Oh, the slime hook. Heck yeah. So I think it's still... No, it's not a slime day anymore. Well, good. We have 361... Sol the solidifier can be placed used to craft objects. Oh, yes, you can turn gel into, like, crafting things. A writable slime mount? Whoa, buddy. Oi! <laughs> Whoa, it jumps high. Wow. Whoa, you could... <laughs> you could jump on stuff. Sorry, bird. <laughs> Sorry, bunny. Vooding. Oh. Vooding. Oh. Oh. Sorry, squirrel. Oh. Dude, that's sick. That's actually really cool. So, a rideable slime, huh? And then we also got something in here. The ninja shirt. Ooh, yeah. We're going to put that on just because we're going to look cool. Um, but where was that other thing that we got? Yeah, the slime hook. Now, is that better than the amethyst hook? Okay, so that one goes out to where? Uh, okay, so it goes out that far. How far does this one go out? I, I think the amethyst hook is better, which is kind of funny. Um, okay, so we have four minutes on the bewitch left. So let's put this down again. Click on it. Regen that. We're going to go back down. We're going to find more ores. Uh, we do have the mithril pickaxe, which is good. So now we need to look for the hardest ore, which I don't... I honestly don't remember what that is. Is that bad? If I don't remember... Are you guys going to hate me? I think it's titanium. I I think it's titanium. And I don't know the color of it. <laughs> so this may take a little bit. <sighs> Sorry, I keep half hiccuping. Oh, I thought I just saw a mimic. Or heard a mimic. Sorry. The possessed armor and the mimics have the same noise. And mimics can spawn some really good stuff. That's the main reason I make the mob spawner. So next episode, we're going to make that NPC housing... Um, is this it? I think this is iron. Yeah, it's iron. Unfortunately. Is this it? Platinum. I don't think that's a hard mode ore. <laughs> In fact, I know it's not a hard mode ore. That is mithril. That's a lot of mithril. We should probably get that. Let me, let me snag this real quick. And if you can't tell, this pickaxe is a lot faster than anything we're used to. Look at this. Right? Isn't that crazy? It's freaking awesome, dude. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm just going to keep on getting this stuff. So don't mind me. I guess I don't need to cut it. I'm going to still cut it anyways, just so I can feel accomplished. So I have some really big news for you guys that I can't share with you yet. And I know you're like, okay, okay. Then why did you tell us? <laughs> and uh, the reason, I, you know what I just thought about? Like, okay, so if I have like a heart attack while I'm recording... Does that mean, like, I, someone... Well, I guess... Oh, if I had a heart attack while I was recording, if I died, then the footage wouldn't get uploaded because I don't think anyone immediately close to me knows how to upload 
Hmm, never mind. <laughs> but if I survive, then you guys can, like, like I, it'll be recorded me having a heart attack. I don't, like, think I'm gonna or anything. I'm just saying. I just like the interesting thoughts I have. Also thinking about thousands of people listening to me all the time. That's just an uncomfortable thing. And you just have to forget it. And, I, you know, I've done this for greater half of my life, you know, right? That, like, I remember. And uh, I just forget it sometimes. I'll say some things where it's like, you know, anyone in the world can hear that, right, man? I think this is it. Yeah, the titanium, baby. The titanium, baby. Oh. Only two minutes of the spelunky dunky left. Now, I don't know where or why there's no titanium, but maybe we need to go deeper. I'm not sure. Right, but like, I haven't really seen any titanium of you. That's right. Oh, and here's another spider area. Okay, so we do know where a spider area. Dude, our tunnel goes right through a spider area. I'm like, I don't know where a spider area is. <laughs> Literally in our tunnel. Bruh. Now, okay, we have <laughs> 79 palladium bars. I don't know if we really need more palladium. I mean, we can get it just for the giggles, but like, I don't think we're gonna use it for anything. We'll probably just end up selling it. You know what? Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth my time right now. Well, what ore is this? There's a lot of it here. Platinum. Blech. Don't need that. There's my pretty ore. I keep passing by it. It looks too close to the other ores. It's almost like emeralds or something. It's a beautiful ore. Look at that. Oh, it's underwater. Spawning in these little teeny tiny pockets, too. So, if it takes 15, then that means we only need 45 of the ore. Um, and we have 22. Well, that's not close. Swiftness potion. I'll take that. Mining potion. Wow, 25%? How fast would that be with this? <laughs> that's sick. That's sick, dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that's sick, bro. Seriously, though, that is nice. My guy sounds like he's on crack. <laughs> I just spit all over my monitor. I need to not do that again. Well, that arrow almost got me, dude. It was almost a goner. Jeez, it's so fast. Okay, one more spelunky dunk. I know I have more spelunker potions, uh, but I want to save them. For what? <laughs> I was just thinking, like, what? Oh, that's a big pocket of titanium. Thinking, like, what? what, what saving them for what, dude? It's not like you're gonna be mining for a. Uh, okay, we gotta take care of this bad boy. Those things will wreck you, dude. Yep. Okay, you're done for, buddy. Look at that, though. Seriously, though, like. <laughs> just the sound is so funny. You know what I mean? It's just like. Jeez, sounds all cracked out like going just ham on them pickaxe. Calm down, little dude. You're like two blocks high. I will get this mithril. There's just two big veins. I can't not get it. It's like the Minecrafter in me. I know you don't need it anymore, but like, I do want to make some nice like axes and stuff like that. So maybe it's worth it to get it here. Is this another spider area? You bet your ass it's another spider area. Oh, crap. Okay, we gotta be C-A-R-E-F, C, C-A-R-E-F-U-L in here. Oh, there's some titanium as well. God, dude. Why is he going so fast? Because of the swiftness potion. How much mithril do we have? 157 mithril. Okay, what is that noise? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even care. I, don't, I don't, frankly don't want to know. I'm only here for the titanium. The rest is moot. Okay, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, great. Oh, great glowing slime. Oh, hey, there's the wizard over there. I only have five gold, but it's worth talking to him because then he'll eventually move in when you get enough NPC housing. I don't really remember what he has. I don't even remember if we've already had found him before. But well, he was bound, so we couldn't have found him. Music box, a book, oh yay, a harp, a bell, mana potion, ice rod, summons a block of ice. I think that I think the ice rod is helpful for more uh, mundane things, I guess, like, no, that's not. 
Uh, Gearoid, I'm very sorry. I was trying to mine Mithril, and apparently I just forgot you were a living thing and couldn't go into the lava. Ma B, dude. Ma B. Uh, now I feel like a terrible person. I just murdered someone in cold blood. On accident. So, like, unintentional manslaughter, but still pretty much as close to manslaughter as, as you can get. Um, so, being in the underground hallowed reminds me of one thing. Down here is stuff that can kill you really fast, but also down here is stuff that we need. So there's going to be some sl some crystals. The one of these crystals is going to look more round, um, and it's going to be animated a little bit. And all oh, these things are these things are very powerful. Um, and the reason I'm telling you about that is we need that gelatinous slime. It's called like royal slime or something, and that's going to allow us to do some really really cool stuff, like spawn the queen slime. Now we're not going to be able to kill the queen slime yet. We need spider armor and a couple other things. Um, but at least for right now, we're in a good position, guys. We have how much more Spelunker left? Two minutes? Hmm. Man, I really need to get more titanium. Um, okay, I shouldn't throw that away. Like tungsten, iron, I don't need any of that. That stuff's all garbage. Uh, okay. So, we need to go find some more tungsten, like right now. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Don't do it to me, don't do it to me, don't do it to me, don't do it to me. Oh. Jeez. I gotta get out of the hollow, dude. I hate it down here. It's so beautiful and the music's so nice, but it's so deadly. Uh, okay, I just jumped I just jumped more so into it. Like trying to escape it and make it worse. Okay. See that's when a hook is helpful, right? If you're falling into lava and you need to like hold yourself steady over something. That's why it's the best thing in the world. Okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Now we're not too close to hell here. Uh, trying to find an area big and open. Okay, is there anything over here? I can find it quickly with this. Oh my god, we only have 15 seconds of that left. What is that? No, that's not the right ore. I need palladium. I need palladium. Or titanium, whatever it is. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Please, no, I can't see it anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna go back through here and see if I see that slime. So that's not it right there, I don't think. Is that thing gonna kill me? I don't know. Oh, okay, I'm gonna recall. I have a slime. <laughs> My very own slime. Well, I say we accomplished quite a bit in this episode. Obviously, we're not done yet because we gotta do a few things here, namely. Um, we need to actually craft this fancy dancy stuff that we just spent the whole episode collecting. So let's make all of our bars of mithril that we can. Boom. And uh, why can't I make the other bars? See, now I'm missing something and I don't remember what. Do I need a different forge to make the, to make the next bars? I mean, obviously I need something. Wait. Mithril, palladium. And then titanium. What do you need with titanium? How do you make titanium bars? Oh, great guide, help me. No, he's dead. <laughs> the guy doesn't move back in. He's, he's, he's gone. Did he actually move up into the island? No. Um, but that is where the merchant moved. You guys were telling me all about that. Um, I need to fix that, and I will. Um, I don't know where the guide is. I guess he just has not respawned. Which is weird. He seems like he should have responded. I'll just look it up on my phone real quick. Hold on. We need an adamantite forge. Or some sort of forge that's better than the one we have now. How, how, how do I craft that? Am I just like not seeing it? I swear, dude. Do we not have any adamantite? I thought that's... No, there's no adamant. Wait, hold on. I need the hell forge in my inventory. And then I can craft it, right? Yeah, titanium forge. Okay, sweet. And uh, we're going to break this. Uh, we're going to move all this stuff down here. We need to build a bigger area for us at some point. This area is a little bit small. We don't really need the loom right there. Um, oh, there's the wrong walls back there. I didn't even notice that. So that thing's old. We're not. Gonna, I think the loom is okay right there. Uh, but we need to put this mythal anvil down. We should probably put it over close to the edge. And then we can also put our fancy schmancy... Did I not craft it? 
No, I guess it didn't. It takes 30 ore. That's kind of, That one's kind of painful. Oh, I only have 16 bars. Can I at least make the pickaxe? I can't make the pickaxe. Um, so one of these will be for minions, I thought. Oh, one of these isn't for minions. Okay, maybe that's hallowed armor. Either way, that's okay. I guess we could go for spider armor. I don't know, man. We're going to have to figure this out. This does 16% increase in magic damage. But then you got to combine all the rest of the gear, which we can't even make one piece of the other stuff. So I'm going to have to go mining more. So we'll make this episode longer because I didn't realize how much more we have to mine. We can't even make the nicest pickaxe yet. Oh, buddy. Okay. I did not realize that. Slime hook. I'll go ahead and put it up. Uh, so let me sort my inventory out and we'll go mining more. I just didn't, I didn't realize. Hmm. So have a meteorite. Okay, we do have 79 palladium bars. I don't know if that's enough to make a full set of armor, but maybe as a placeholder to make things easier, we can make some palladium armor. It would at least give us a little bit of a boost. Let's just see how much. So it's like 10 defense versus six. No, nah, it, it's not worth it. We'll just sell the palladium and stuff. Like, like I said, you don't really need it necessarily so let's see that's only 22 gold that's 21 okay we'll just keep it for now because i don't know if i want to make pickaxes or or axes or hammers or anything with it yet hmm okay we're gonna throw away that it's really worth nothing i promise um so we'll do palladium and then we'll have mithril and then the best is titanium put this stuff down here meteorite why is that not? Where's the gold? I guess I don't have any gold. We have a ton of crystals, though, because we made the crystal hook, remember? Uh, the rubies as well. Mithril ore. Okay, I know. I'm just sorting inventory, boring stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go back down there. We're going to mine some more. I think I still have a bunch of Spelunker potions. Yeah, I saved four. And I remember arguing with myself, being like, Neo, why did you save four? We don't even need four, man. Also, where's the jungle? Hard mode jungle is pretty hard. Hmm. You know, before I do this, I'm going to go break more demon altars over here. Because remember, there was that second area of corruption. So not this one. But if we go even further over, it's like over around here. So I'm going to go break the corruption altars around there. So don't mind me. I'll be back in a bit. I'll meet you guys over there at that new, um, at that new area of corruption. Man, this is way the heck over here. Uh, but luckily we're here. And now we should be able to break ourselves some more demon altars. I don't even really remember going to this area. Obviously, oh, that's where the meteor was, right? Yeah, that's where the meteor was. So if I go down here, hopefully there's one of those flat areas down here where you can put all those demon altars. Yeah, there's a ton in here as well. Yeah, so I had never really gone down here, I guess. That's one, two, that's three. Come on, we need that, we need that titanium, baby, yeah. Four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, forgot about the baddies. Let's do it. Yeah, I got a gills potion. I don't know what the heck that is. Yeah, you guys don't like those, do you? You don't like that mana flower, huh? Yeah, sweet. That went much better than planned. Okay, so I assume there's more. I mean, I don't know how big this corruption area is, but it's a secondary one, so probably not super big. Definitely not as big as the first, but could be close. Sweet, dude. I wonder how easy the uh, the thing I was so proud of killing four times, the Eater of Worlds, would be now. I imagine pretty easy to beat now. Okay, so that's all of them. I don't really want to fight those. It's not really necessary. Let's go ahead and... I know those are... I know you can use them in potions, guys, but I don't... I'm not going to use them in potions. I'll honestly just for, forget. So disregard me throwing them away. I know it upsets some people, but, like, I just... I personally will never use it. Like, I promise. I'll keep it, and then it'll just stay in a chest for the rest of the series. And I'd much rather save some time and improve my enjoyment of the, the gaming experience. Look at that guy. He was complaining. He was going... Bah, 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 bah. And then that dude did a death face at him, so I don't know what that means, but it doesn't seem good. Let's get down to an appropriate depth here, and then I want to do something different. So I want to go over to here, okay, and I want to get on this rail car. 
Come over here to the right. Everything seems off on my map. I don't know why. I guess it's not, but it seems off. And again, we're looking for that good, good the mithril. Or no, I don't think I'll ever get it right. Uh, we're looking for the titanium. So that other glowing stuff is bone. Yeah, I don't. Oh no, I hate this place. I hate this place. That's right. That's what I had explored a lot of was the freaking desert, dude. You guys remember how the desert treated me. Not good. If you missed it, go back and watch. I don't know what episode it was, but these boys... Dude, they'll wreck you. They only do 70 damage, but like... When you're just starting out, that's a lot of damage. And I guess I made a mistake. I think you have to be deeper for titanium, because like, I, I don't see it at all. Do I have another one of those mining potions? Yeah, I do. Ho <laughs> ho Let's go! Okay, if I don't die, that'd be great. Jeez, dude. Wow. I don't think I've passed any titanium. I probably would have seen it. I mean, the ore should technically glow. Wow, this is so fast. Jeez. Oi! Okay, I'm almost dead. And, like, I get it. I still have 10 seconds on the potion. Please tell me this is a small boy. Okay. I guess I just need to chill out for a second. <laughs> okay, it's 150 HP. That should be enough. I think the green spiky balls are out to get me again. Because, yeah, I haven't seen any titanium at this depth. So I think you have to be below a certain depth to find it. Now, okay, I don't think we're going to get there mining like this. Oi! Okay. And I can't see, which does not help my cause. I'd really rather not waste the Spelunker potion, so I'm trying to just get back to our uh, main shaft over here to the right. Jeez, what is that? I have 14 HP. Okay, okay. Well, I wasted that Spelunker potion. I have to be deeper. Let me get deeper. I'm not gonna lie, I almost just died from a bat! I literally almost died from a bat, so I'm sitting in a hole now, just hanging out. Until my health regens. I got a little campfire going. Things are nice and cozy in here. Nice and cozy. Okay, now I should be at a high enough health level to leave. Now, I want to get, like I said, pretty deep in the world. Uh, that doesn't even really help. Let me zoom out far enough. But maybe, like, right around... Sure, right around the spider area. That looks like a good idea. Nice and safe. Okay, so let's take this Spelunker. And let's hope for the best. Again, we're just looking for that titanium. I wish there was a way to just hold a torch in your hand. Maybe I should get a way to craft more potions, more uh, swiftness potions, or, or what are they called? The potions that cause you to glow. I don't remember what, shine potions. Or just like ha install a mod that gives me permanent shine potion because I know it's kind of cheating, but like for YouTube, it makes it a lot easier for you guys to see. And uh, it doesn't really add anything. It doesn't help you in the game except it allows you to see, which I guess is something that you need help with. But, like. It shouldn't be. I think everyone deserves a little bit of light. Makes their life so much easier. You don't die from stupid bats and stuff. I'm not salty. And I didn't die, mind you. I didn't die. Should take one of these. So I lost that ability. Literally turns you into a machine. Jeez. This whole episode's been me talking about how fast, how good mining speed potions are. <laughs> it's one of the main topics. You know, I mean, it's true. I guess I've never really utilized them to their fullest potential. And I'm sure I have a crap ton in my chest that I just ignore. Because I've, like, seen them so many times and never used them. So maybe I should get out and use those. I guess I, should, I have a hook. Could just use the hook. Like, see, there's so much we're missing. Because I and you can't see. I mean, now the ores glow, which is all nice, all fine, all dandy. I still have not found much titanium, though. And that looks like a fake chest to me. Like, I don't know about you guys. That looks like a fake chest. Let's find out. No, it's not. There's Hermes boots. They're violent. What's this one? Fleeting. It's almost kind of better to be fleeting, isn't it? I'll put those in there. Don't need any other stuff, though. A desert, a desert spirit. I <laughs> said desert spit. 
I was like, that just doesn't sound very threatening. That doesn't sound very threatening at all. So I'm sorry there was such a big gap with the episodes. It just coincided with where I wanted to take a week off. Like, I didn't, you know, have it planned. Because I recorded the first seven episodes within, like, a one-week time period. Uh, like, a couple months ago. So, not a couple months ago. How did that kill the goblin tanker? Dang it. So, not, like, not very many months. <gasps> I don't know, maybe, like, a month or two ago, I recorded all seven episodes. Um, so that's why there was such a big gap. Uh, it was because I took a break. And then I didn't have enough, like, to cover that break in my upload schedule. So I do apologize. There was such a big gap. Uh, but there shouldn't be one like that again. Why? I'm already out of mana. Okay. That thing is just teleporting all over the place. It wasn't doing any damage, though. Kind of a stupid mob, huh? Hmm. Angry Neo. Okay. Oi! You serious, dude? I've gotten, like, no titanium. I've gotten nothing this whole time. I just got some, like, palladium again. And I only have two spelunkers left. Yeah, I have 17 titanium more. Woohoo! Well, I guess if I'm gonna use... I'm gonna be using spider armor. But I need... No, I need titanium armor for the queen, the queen slime fight. Because before you get those daggers, it's very hard to be, uh... To be a summoner. Hmm... Okay, well, I'll mine a little bit. I, I, I think you guys have seen enough mining. I'll mine in between this episode and next. I appreciate you guys for watching this episode. Um, when I come back next episode, I think next time we're going to build a mob spawner, which is going to be super fun. We're going to build some NPC housing, maybe in the episode after that. Uh, I mainly just want to get that mob spawner built. Um, and I want, really want to kill the queen slime, but we need to get spider armor next episode too. we got a ton of other stuff. You know what? I'm going to give it one more life. This one life is going to determine if the episode is long or it is short. Because we're literally... Oh, that traveling merchant can have good stuff. But... Nah, no, 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 no. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm done buying things I don't need. Uh, okay, we'll take this. Take this. Come on. I need these spider areas, but right now they're very annoying. I love, I still, I, I just can't get over the fact that I had two, like, right in my pocket, and I was all like, oh, I don't know where any spider areas are. What is that? Is that a strange plant? Is that what that is? An orange blood root. Maybe that gives you orange dye. So the dye trader can give you stuff where you can put it, like, right here, and it makes your dye look like special colors and whatnot. It's actually really cool. That doesn't sound very cool the way I described it, but I promise you, it actually is pretty cool. Also, we need to put down this thing, our, our bewitched thingy. Okay, I gotta destroy some stuff, dude. I, 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 my one grievance with this game is that your inventory is way too small. There is too many dang item types to only give you, like, this much space, right? Like, it, you're always full, if you're mining at least, and I don't know. In my opinion, which is just my opinion, I really feel like they should give you a little bit more grace with the space here, you know what I mean? It's just kind of ridiculous sometimes. Hmm. Good old complaining, you know, wasting my time with the Spelunker potion on. Okay, don't walk into the silt. Duly noted. Man, tit I get that- wow, there's a lot of things over there. I get that titanium ore is supposed to be rare, but this is odd because I usually have found enough for a full set of armor by now. Wow, there is like a lot of things over there. So I guess since most of the area here is filled in, um, that only allows them to spawn over here. That's going to be fun. Wait, if I spawn them... Oh, I can spawn them over there. Oh, one of them's already over there attacking stuff. Nothing does just choose through mana. Is there a way I can spawn them over there again? Oh, buddy, go over there with your friend. <laughs> Look how much stuff is in there, dude. I just need a big enough slot to launch a mana thing in there. The flower thing, this thing. Watch this. Okay. <laughs> I need a bigger I need a bigger a bigger area. Okay. There we go. There we go, dude. Yes, sir. That's working very, very nicely. Everything is dying. And everything's dead. Sweet. Now I can come in here and take out any stragglers. 
Okay. So again, we're still looking for the titanium. This clinger. Buddy. Buddy old pal, don't kill me. Don't don't make the episode short, cause cause you you want another another notch on your neck. I don't know where you'd put a notch on that big ugly body of yours. Your long body. Is this a good one or a bad one? Good one. Oh, two spelunkers. Wow. Okay, that's pretty rare. Not gonna lie. There's another mine shaft right here. I mean, I'm I'm down for another mine shaft. Let's go. Good way to discover a large area quickly. And now this one, this one's a little tricky. Um, I may have to skip that one because it's under lava. I'll come back to it though. If we can't find any. I know I'm going slow. I'm trying to be careful not to miss any. Dude, I am surprised at the rarity of this stuff. I've never had this much trouble with it. No, don't take me into the into the desert. Please, no. No, not the desert. Oh, he took me right into the desert. Right into the heart of it. Why is so much stuff spawning? What is exploding? Why am I still in the cart? Okay, now I'm on a slime. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That's actually kind of nice. I'm almost dead, though. And I got killed by a rolly ball. Okay, I'm going to look for titanium in between this week and next week because obviously we're having quite a bit of trouble finding it. I don't know how, but we're just having the biggest, toughest time finding it. Um, Desert spirit lamp. That's actually really good. We can combine that with something that happens during a sandstorm. You you kill these these things and then you can get like one of the best hard mode weapons, uh, early hard mode weapons. So we're definitely going to keep that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching episode 8. Uh, again, in between this episode and next, I already explained what we're going to do in the next episode, but I'm going to try my best to get more titanium. We didn't get any that whole time. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Uh, again, if there's ever any delays between the episodes, I'm sorry. I try to get a lot done in one episode, so hopefully you can tide yourself over. Play the video back at half speed if you really want to. D don't do that. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!